Um, I honestly, I don't remember. I'm sorry. I do remember, you know, the first film that I, that I did see in the theater that really had a huge uh, impact on me, Artis you know, artistically, existentially, every, you know, in every possible way. Um, that a film can have an impact on you, uh, and, and that was um, Titanic. I don't know, I've been shooting all summer. I've been shooting my new film. I hadn't had a chance to go to the movies in so long. Titanic. <laughs> yeah, I saw the and after that would be, <laughs> after that would be uh, Home Alone 1 and 2, and uh, I've seen Mysterious Skin by Greg Rocky quite often as well, like at least 10 times. But Home Alone and, you know, Home Alone were talking a good 30, oh, oh God, sorry, I've seen all the Harry Potters um, between, I don't know, 20 and 30 times each. <laughs> Well, a line that I really, really, <laughs> that I really, really love is a, quite a banal line <laughs> from Titanic, but I think it has so much authority. <laughs> and it's um, when Old Rose uh, says to, um, what's his name, Lovett, or whatever his name is. Was it Richard Lovett? I don't know. Lovett, that's the name of the... Uh, um, the guy uh, who's trying to find the, the heart of the ocean, which <laughs> he keeps interrupting her, and he says, it's okay, you know, if you forget, you know, if you don't remember everything. And she just says, do you want to hear that story or not, Mr. Lovett? I just, I like that line. <laughs> In the theater? On film? Which is almost impossible, I guess. Um, directing actors on set. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, certainly emotional. Um, yeah. Emotional, actor driven, musical. Having my pants pulled down by, in front of the entire crew by the young uh, actor in Mommy on the first day of shooting, first scene. Set the tone quite well. I do like the scene in Mommy when Andorval and Suzanne Clément are in the kitchen and they're talking about, you know, she announces her, she's leaving for Toronto and, uh, and Andorval is trying to pretend she's not affected by that news and that she, she doesn't really care and she wishes her good luck and tells her about all the restaurants and the places she wants to send her off to. It's just, it's, I really like the acting of both girls in that, in that, in that, in that scene. Uh, and I love the, um, um, the look, the, 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 the looks that Gaspar Huliet and Marion Cossier exchange in It's Only the End of the World in the living room when everybody is talking and it all fades to a sort of distant echo and, and they just look at each other and she asks him if he's all right. And she sort of, you know, she undresses him with her eyes and she sort of understands that he is dying without any, without him seeing anything. Uh, this one, it's only the end of the world for, oh God, it's, I don't know, either it's only the end of the world or mommy, uh, for, Yeah, I, I guess for our, it's only in the end of the world for our incapacity to, we are in a theater after all, <laughs> for our incapacity to love and listen.